All right, you guys, we're going to be getting shut down soon on YouTube. And so I really believe, and I think all you do too, that when they shut down that, you know, us being able to go out into the world with our voices and being able to go out on YouTube, that, you know, the t it's going to be time for the two witnesses and, and the commissioning and and remember, the two witnesses are going to go out and do their thing. The angel, um, there's going to be an angel going out into the world proclaiming the everlasting gospel. Um, there's nothing new under the sun. Jesus took 70 disciples and sent them out two by two, took them, baptized them, or he didn't, but you get what I'm saying. Um, but I was downloading a picture or <clears throat> putting up a video today. And I had to say whether or not my uh, video was child appropriate or something. And I didn't fall within the stipulations of being uh, child approved. So they're going to be screening. You know, the, the, the oppression is starting, you guys. And why? It's because the saints are banding together, you guys. All of us online preaching and 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 giving glory to God, fellowshipping, they're done, like, our, our time's up, you guys, well, time's up, I showed, if you see, haven't seen in the last video, go and see the video of the, the star, or the meteor, coming down from the sky, you guys, these are the, these are the stars that the, the dragon in its tail gets thrown to the ground, and they're getting thrown to the ground. And then Michael's going to pursue Satan. Satan's going to be here soon, you guys. He's going to get thrown to the ground. And so I want to talk about the rapture, you guys. So we know if Satan, you know, this is getting ready to happen. They're getting ready to shut us down. Satan is going to be here soon. And he's going to put his, give his power, his authority to the son of perdition. That means the rapture is going to happen soon. <clears throat> when the Son of Man will gather his elect. But let's go see what Jesus, let's look at what Jesus has said, you guys. So put out all your preconceived ideas of what you, what the world and what you might see. And let's just be guided with the power of the Holy Spirit right now. So, Heavenly Father, we come to you through the intercession and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ and through the intercession of the Holy Spirit. Father, please guide all of us with the power of your Holy Spirit. Open our hearts to your truth. Guide us with your truth and your love, Father, and reveal your truth to all those who watch this video. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I ascribe all glory and honor, praise, power, might, authority, thanksgiving, and blessing to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, to the one who sits on the throne, now and forever. Amen and hallelujah. All right, so... Jesus says, and then Jesus said, hey, you know, that the disciples asked, when's the sign you're coming in the end of the world? And Jesus said, take care, no one deceives you, because many will come using my name, saying, I am the Christ. And now what they're saying is, that's the equivalent to saying, I'm anointed, or I'm a child of God, I'm a 144,000, etc., etc. And they will deceive many. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. Do not be alarmed, for this is something that must happen. But the end will not be yet. For nation will fight against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes here and there. Okay? These are the beginning of the birth pains. Okay? So Jesus gives us, you guys, this is a sequence of events. Okay? When Jesus says, when the scriptures are saying, Hey, the bridegroom is here. Go out and and meet him. Or Jesus, or when Jesus says, you know, um, uh, I will come and sup with you. I will come and and we will eat meat together and we will sit down together. You guys, this doesn't have to happen in the phys in in uh, in your conscious. That doesn't it doesn't necessarily now whether it will or not. I don't know, but even when that scripture is fulfilled. Um, uh, sorry, I just lost my train of thought. Anyway, I, it'll come back to my mind. Um, yeah, oh yeah, it, when he says I'll come and sup with you, 
or or I'll come and eat with you. You guys, that doesn't mean that the that doesn't say anything about the rapture at all. So let's just look at what the scriptures say. Then they will hand you over to be tortured. So at the beginning of the birth pangs, guys, which is what we're seeing, and all of you know this, it says, then they will hand you over to be tortured and put to death. Now, it says in this in Revelation, those who um those who are going to go um, to the jails, go to the jails. Those who are going to go to the sword are going to go to the sword. You know, when Satan gets here, guys, he, the book of Revelation says he's going to go into pursuit of all of those who are the children of God. His first fruit, uh, those who keep the commandments of God. They are going to go in pursuit of us. And they're going to put some of us to death, you guys. Like, that's... That's going to happen. I've seen myself in these jails, you guys. You know, so... Um, but it doesn't matter because at the last trump, we're going to be... If we have, if we die, you guys, we're going to be raised back to life. Our new body, and we're going to go into the millennial reign. So it says, you are going to be handed over and put to death, and then you will be hated by all nations on account of my name. Okay? Now, you guys, this has to happen to us over here, too. Now, not everybody's going to be going to these jails, I don't think, and, and tortured. And not all of us are going to be put to death, some. And then many will fall away. See, the, the reason why they're going to fall away, fam, is because people are being put to death. And some people who are, like, preaching Jesus and saying that they follow him, they're going to get so scared, you guys. So pray that people be given the spiritual blessings, graces, and gifts, and the fruits that they need to endure to the end, even if they have to lay down their life. Men will betray one another, hate one another, false prophets, deception, increase of lawlessness, you guys. Lawlessness. Now, this could be against the government laws, but it's also against the laws of God. Okay? So, Jesus, God in the flesh, Jesus Christ, has given a sequence of events. And he says, this good news of the kingdom will be proclaimed to the whole world as a witness to all nations, and then the end will come. Remember in the book of Revelation, it says that the, um, the angel is going to bring in the everlasting gospel throughout the whole world. And maybe it's going to come in the form of a person, you guys. You know, we don't know. We don't know that. We just know it's going to happen. Okay? And then it says... When you see the disastrous abomination, which Daniel the prophet spoke of, set on the holy place, let the reader understand that. And I believe that this already happened. And if you are curious about what my opinion is or why I think that, just leave me a message and I'll email it to you or put it in the message. Of which Daniel the prophet spoke of, set up in the holy place, let the reader understand. And those who are in Judea must take to the mountains. Alas for child. Pray that you... That your flight will not be in the winter of the Sabbath. Okay? And then, you guys, after all of these things. Now, this is sequence, you guys. Then look what he says. Okay? After all of those things that we just read, you guys. And then I say to you, look, he's in the desert. Look, he's over here. Okay? Because the coming of the Son of Man will be like lightning striking in the east and to the west. That's how big that, and it's after you guys, he's not coming and then he's going to gather his elect. Okay. So let's go look at another account of it. Let's go see what, um, how Luke interpreted what Jesus says. So I'm saying this, you guys, so that you guys, the rapture is going to happen. The, the, those who are dead in Christ and all of that's going to happen. But it, it, Jesus says it's after these things, you guys. Because he's going to use the children of God, you guys. As it says in the scriptures, they are. he's going to use his children. Um, and they will go to war against the Lamb. But the Lamb is the Lord of Lord and King of Kings. And he will defeat them. And, and they will be defeated, the kings, the evil kings, by the followers, the called, the chosen, the faithful. You guys, he's using his warrior children. To defeat the enemy. That's the warrior children, you guys. The first fruits. You guys, Jesus, God, and the Holy Spirit are warriors, you guys. 
yes, he loves us so much, you guys, but you guys, trust me, he is a warrior. Okay. Okay, sorry, yeah, 21. Okay, you guys, so look, let's look at what Jesus said in the account of Paul, or I'm sorry, Luke. Um, okay, so many will come using my name. Take care that you're not deceived. Many will come using my name, saying, I am he, and the time is near at hand. See, that's what, you guys, and I used to believe this too, you guys, that the rapture is happening right away. But I looked into scripture and being guided with the Holy Spirit, you guys, the Holy Spirit that dwells in me now led me to the truth, you guys. We have to, we're going to be going through some things that, until the rapture happens. Now, that being said, you guys, it talks about scriptures in the prophets where they say there, that there is a gathering together, that he gathers um, them together, um, his first fruits children, and maybe he's going to gather some of them up. Like, you guys, the man child is going to be caught up, okay? And, and, and the two witnesses are going to be here. Like there's going to be other things going on. And maybe there's going to be something where he gathers his first fruits children together and commissions them with the power of the Holy Spirit and then sends them back out. I don't know. Maybe, but the rapture, you guys, when the dead in Christ are rise and those who are alive and remain, when they go up, that's at the last trump. And, and look what he says, the time is near at hand. Refuse to join them. Okay, and when you hear of wars and revolutions, do not be frightened, for this is something that must happen. But the end is not so soon. You guys, Jesus is saying this. Then he said to them, nation will fight against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, plagues, famines here and there, and fearful sights and great signs from heaven, you guys. Before the God, the Lord of Lord and King of Kings comes to gather us together, you guys, before the, I'm sorry, before the rapture. There's going to be fearful signs in heaven, you guys. The whole world is going to see this stuff, you guys. But before all this happens, men will see. Before all this happens, men will seize you and persecute you. And hand you over to the synagogues to imprisonment. And before the kings and governors, governors because of my name. And that will be your opportunity to bear witness. Keep this carefully in mind. You're not to prepare your defense. I am going to give you eloquence and wisdom that none of your opponents will be able to resist or contradict. See, then we're going to be betrayed by brothers, parents, relations, friends, and some of you will be put to death. You guys, some some of us are going to die, you know? I'm not afraid of that, you guys. I'm really not. Like, if, if I die, I'm going to be raised at the last trump, and I'm going to go into the kingdom. And so, you guys pray. You guys pray that everybody... That with the things in, in pray in the mighty name of Jesus, pray to the Father and ask that everybody who's going into this for, with the tribulations that are ahead, that everybody be given the spiritual blessings, graces, and gifts that they need um, to endure and to endure and to to choose good in the end. Okay. But it says, when you see Jerusalem surrounded with armies, you must realize that she will soon be desolate. That's literally what they said on the news the other day, guys. A CBN is that they are they are getting all their rockets and they're surrounding Israel, you guys, because they're going to lay it desolate. And remember when Jesus says, when the gathering happens, that Jerusalem, that Israel's uh, Jerusalem's laid desolate. Because the in the millennial reign, they're going to rebuild that back up. They or somebody is, I don't know. So, you guys, the rapture is going to happen, okay? But go to the Father and He will tell you, you guys, don't, you know, be prepared. You guys, be prepared to go through. Remember what it says when Satan gets cast out. When Satan gets cast out of heaven... It says, Then the dragon was enraged, because he got thrown to the ground, with the woman and went away to make war on the rest of her children, that is, all who obey God's commandments and bear witness for Jesus Christ. 
Amen and hallelujah. I love you, Father. Our glory be to the to the Lamb of God.